right, folks. All right. As y'all can see, Tommy Ingram is mad. He's upset. Why is he upset? Because I exposed him. See, folks, I think the scripture in Romans, it says, why judge another when you yourself do the same thing? This hypocrite is going to judge everybody else, but he himself is, is doing the same thing. He's trying to justify niacin in food. Niacin is vitamin B, yes. Yeah. I'm not down in niacin. I'm not down in that. It's a vitamin. It's a vitamin B. Yes, you can find it in food. But this niacin that's in that energy drink, that's not the same niacin that's in the food. No, brother. Uh-uh. No, that's man-made niacin. That's man-made vitamin B. The other stuff that's in there, that's natural. That's natural. But that niacin that you're drinking, you can't compare that to the same niacin in the, uh, in the foods. You can't, hypocrite. Just admit, just admit, hey, Tommy, you can drink all the energy drinks you want to drink. I don't care. I just wanted to expose you about what was in the uh, the monster. It ain't only nice, and they got turmeric. And, I mean, you know, they got other, other stuff that's in there, but you need to just do your research. And by the way, Tommy, stop lying on me. I never said that that was the mark of the beast, hypocrite. Stop lying. You're mad. You're upset. I can, I can get it. You're upset because I expose you. Have I become your enemy because I told you the truth? Truth first, I know. So you're upset because I exposed you. So now you want to lie and I say, that was the mark of the beast. I never said that. I, I Tommy, I never said that. I said that those symbols that uh, would make it look like a scratch mark, but they're not con some of them not connected. So those symbols represent the Hebrew number. And that number is 666. That's all I said. I never said it was the mark of the beast. I know what the mark of the beast is going to be. Hypocrite, don't try to try to um, put it all on me to get it off of you. But see, you're the one upset, and I'm getting ready to play the video to show people how accept you, uh, upset you are. I don't care. You can get upset all you You can blow up like a blowfish. But sooner or later, you got to come down. I know you're mad, but I love it. I love it getting you mad. I'm going to call in your show. And I'm going to see if you accept my call. Yeah, since you're talking about me, at least go ahead and get me on the call. But, folks, I guarantee you this hypocrite won't accept my call. If he do, I got, a, I got a question to ask him. I'm going to ask him that since he want to know so much about me, I'll let him uh, uh, question me from A to Z about my lifestyle and what I do. If, see, that's an if. If he proved that lie that he told about they that was stoning Stephen was biting Stephen in Acts 7, 54, 59. If he can find where they was biting Stephen, those that were stoning Stephen were biting, I'll tell him anything he want to know about me on, your, on his show. But he got to first prove that lie. And if he can't prove it, he got to admit to the people, yes, I lied. God didn't teach me. That was me all the way. And I, I need to go sit down and shut my show down because if I lied about this, what else is I'm lying about to the people? Now, if, he, if he's telling the truth, he should be able to come forth. But if he don't, then, then Jesus said, when they ask Jesus, what authority do you do these things? And Jesus said, I'll tell you what authority I do that. And then he said, the baptism of John. And then they said, we can't answer. And Jesus said, neither answer are you. So Tommy, if you can't answer me, then neither will I answer you. But y'all, I'm going I'm to show you how upset this hypocrite is, is upset with me today on this second segment. All right, check it out. Boy, that's funny. Is that a thing which is written in the books? Your opinion, your thought of an energy drink, and however you talk about the drug side of it, it would not even be considered as a right or a wrong because God didn't let it come out of his mouth. That came out of the gospel of Peter Cox. Stop right there, folks. You see how he trying to do and put it on me? The gospel of Peter Cox. He's upset. This hypocrite is mad. Ain't no gospel of Peter Cox. This is Peter Cox exposing you. That's what it is, hypocrite. And you're mad. And I can see you're mad. But you know what? I'm glad you're mad. See? Now, now you'll think twice about calling my name. 
because I'm going to expose you. All right. And I don't believe Took said that because I don't think they had energy drinks around when Took was around. I don't believe. See, a lot of this stuff we we thinking people. All right, now he gonna say that, that energy drinks wasn't around when Took's around. Uh, energy drinks, Took's uh, was around ever since 2015. All right, Took's died in 2015. So hypocrite, how can you say energy energy drinks wasn't around then? Man, go somewhere and sit down. Do you do your research? Like you need to do your research on this energy drink. I already made another video about this guy uh, talking about the energy drink, the uh, the symbol, what it, what 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 the uh, the the claw symbol represent, and then the cross in the zero. Uh, what it's talking about? So you hypocrite, you need to do your research. That's your problem. You don't do your research. All right. So yes, energy drinks was around when Tooks was around. So you are a liar. All right. Let's keep going. We get him from Tooks, where is it really best Peter? Peter, you're not the Peter that Jesus told to feed his sheep. You the Peter that should have sit with someone and sit down and shut his mouth. See, that's mad, God see, folks. He is mad. He is mad at me. The Spirit speak expressly in the latter times, some shall depart from the faith and give heed to seducing spirits. That's him. Speaking lies and hypocrisy. That's him. Concealed with a hot iron. That's him. Huh? Forbidden to marry. Commanded to abstain from meats. I don't do that. Which God have gave to those that know and believe the truth. All right, folks. Now, none of y'all didn't never hear me say abstain from meat uh, and, and stuff like that, you know, and forbidden to marry. Mm. I forbid you to marry if uh, if you have been divorced and your spouse or whatever is still living and you want to go marry somebody else. I forbid that because then you're being adultery. Just like Tommy Henry, he got an ex-wife. I forbid for him to go marry somebody else if he has an ex-wife. If his wife is still living, there's no such thing in the Bible as an ex-wife. She's still your wife, Tommy. But if, if uh, you and your wife are separated, then you remain unmarried and she remain unmarried. Now, if she wants to go marry somebody else, all right. I mean, hey, she's still in adultery. If you go marry somebody else, you're still in adultery, and the person you uh, marry is going to be in adultery with you. Plain and simple. Plain and simple. All right, all right, folks. I got, I got to get this call. I got, to, I got to get this call, but I'm gonna let this play a little bit. For every creature, God is good for food. And nothing to be refused if it be received with thanksgiving. For it is sanctified <laughs> by the word of God in prayer. If Nicene is found in meats, and then you say it's in this energy drink, God created the meats. He said, I can eat them. If the Nicene is... All right. All right. God did create the meat. He said he can eat those. All right. But did God create that energy drink? Or did man create it? Is that niacin the same vitamin B that you get from the meats that God created? Or is that something that man created and put in there and it's an alternate for a niacin or a vitamin B? See, you got the wrong vitamin B, son. You got you got imitating uh, a fake vitamin B or an imitation vitamin D B just like your your doctrine. Your doctrine is fake and it's an imitation. And you talking about uh, the Bible said call for the elders of the church. You ain't no elder. Why people calling you? You claim to be a prophet. You ain't even no prophet. You a hypocrite. And you wait a minute. I'm my bad. I take that back, Tommy. You is a prophet. Because the Bible said false prophets shall arise. That's you, brother. You just ain't God called, God sent prophet. That's the problem. But uh, you know what? As y'all can see, go watch his video. I encourage all of y'all to watch his videos and see how upset this man is above about me. But like I said, I'm going to call in. And I'm going to see if he accept my, uh, set my call. I guarantee you he won't do it. Because I'm, I'm going to ask him about uh, Stephen, and I guarantee you he'll hang up. He won't be able to prove it. All right, so, folks, this is All 264 signing off. Again, peace.